What's up, guys? I had some technical difficulties right now, but we I, I got it all together. I got it all together. Everything is syncing. We was vibing, but then one of the tape just stopped and we had to do it all over again. So welcome to another interview with this young lady right quick. Her experience out here, she's a two-year driver. She's been out here doing the damn thing. She started at Swift. Now she's with another company out of Arkansas. She's here with me tonight. Let's check out a video right quick before before I bring her on. Got an idle mind. It's at 66. It's 70 miles an hour. So you mean... You feel me? Some of my fellas, y'all were falling asleep. I thought we was here. You understand? Y'all, I got a citation. Check this. Not for speeding. Not for running a red light. Not for uh 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 uh. So look like in this video right here, station. she's uh she's talking not a little bit. Look like she got a a little citation going on right so quick. Too. This is why I welcome Shape World to the show. What is going on, Miss Shape World? How's it going? You there? I'm here, boy. You know, you uh, hear me good? Yeah, I hear you good. What's going on? What's going on? Not much. Trying to get it on in. Night before the holiday, I'm still moving. All right, yeah, that's what's up. You know, that's 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 the trucker's life. You know, we're trying to get home to our families, but sometimes situations always happening. It's always happening. So, uh, welcome to the show. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm Houston, Texas, Houston. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So you uh decided to come out here in the in the field of trucking, man. Where where you came from? How how did you get into the game? Did you start with uh did you start with schooling or did you go through uh did you go through a trucking school? Or? I went to the infamous Swift. Okay, okay. Let's talk about Swift. Yeah, well, I went to the infamous Swift. I went to there for a year, four weeks. I'm sorry, program, but like it ended up being six weeks mm -hmm. because I ended up not passing the blind side set up back in one side and then the other uh, six shift thing. So they had us training in Tennessee ball ball. So walk walk us so, through walk walk us through the through the process of going through uh I guess it's called the Swift Academy now. So walk us through uh okay, the well, process. Okay, uh, all I did, it was simple. It was a simple process. It just took about scheduling. Just, you know, they get some people that come. So I risked the application. I was, I was told yes within a week. But it took an additional two weeks, I believe, to bring me on for the academy. I had to get on my ground bus. Uh, you know, it's the course of Canada, Texas, where they have their school uh, right out off in there. Uh, then the first whole week that you're there is something to work and pay for it. I mean, it's so much to work and pay for it. And reading maps and making graphs. Uh, it was so irritating. It was so irritating. You have to make a graph every day. It's like you're starting your regular shift. Okay. On a paper log. So, what... Right, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, go um, ahead. Okay. 
So would so would that so would that being uh you know coming in through the Swift Academy getting your uh, getting your license, you had to end up doing a contract with them, right? Because they paid for it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They end up paying the bags. They take uh, like fifty dollars out each one of your checks. Oh, so uh, yeah, so you have the option to increase it if you want to. We get the minimum amount for the minimum. So uh, you. Like, so wait a minute. Wait, you you actually had to pay them back out of your out of your paycheck every week. So it wasn't. So it wasn't. So you could have left any time then if if you was paying the paying the uh paying the school back so did they make you sign a contract you so, sign a contract to be liable for the money but you don't have to there's a thing if you sign the contract to be liable for the money for the school right you don't have to say working for the school. oh okay 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 you don't have to say but this is the thing you still owe them a bill you still have to call the department open the main headquarters and pay it right you have Okay. Okay. What other uh, what, yeah. what other uh, experiences that you had with Swift? Uh, I know you uh, got like a gang of videos out there. I think you was a a trainer at one time. It's, you know, tell me yes, about I that. I, I went through five students. Um, last week, six Years old, three years old. Um, yeah, it was, it was it was a silent thing, and, I, and now that I've experienced training, I'm gonna tell you I would never do it. Again. <laughs> I would never. I don't think I would ever train again. I would make it competing again because I've, I've experienced both of those. I know I'm almost the same thing, but they have sex, but they kind of lie a little bit. Um, you know, you have to have enough comfort to trust somebody that don't really know all what they're doing. So I think you're a vehicle while you're back in school. Right. And any given time, something can go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And you always have to have patience and know that this person is just not starting out because she was just there. So you can't tell them just time. You can't um, treat them. You can't talk to them any kind of way and that kind of stuff. Right. You know. So was the um, money? So yeah. was the money good in uh, in training? Oh, the money was actually. Okay, that's what's up. You know so, what I mean? so uh, what other what what made you decide to leave Swift, and what was the next company after that that you uh, that you went to? I think it was time for a shift, and you know Swift was going through its own changes and whatnot. They were having their own things and emerging, they believe. Uh, they were changing up a lot of the roles. It was a time to spread out and get a little more experience. And I know you know how to do other things happen too. We'll, we'll talk about that one of the additions. That's what's up. Yeah, for me again. That's what's up. So at one point, at one point, you decided to go into the oil fields. What, what was your experience with that? Yeah, and you saw what that happened to that. That hurt my heart. Now, that hurt me. That, that hurt me. Right? How, how did that because, hurt you? Let, let us know how that hurt you. Oh, uh, because I, I spent so much money. I was so excited. You know, out there, they are the company drivers. They're not responsible for the truck. And they see it 15 and 2,000 miles a week. They don't pay no fuel. They don't pay no insurance. don't pay nothing for the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All they do is show up, work, and lay down and work with you. Eat sweet shit, and lay down and work with you. But I said, cool, right? And it'll be good to have that kind of knowledge in that industry to see how far it goes, and you never know where it may take you. 
it may extend to uh, you move the water something, or you may fight in your own authority. Okay. Having so, your own direct contract or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So this was. So I was super excited. I spent all that money. And the sad part about it, I never complained about doing the job. I never complained. Never. Matter of okay. fact, the guy that trained me, he made several mistakes on his own while training me. So you know this, so this was Frax. What was it, Frax It was Frax saying. It was Frax saying. All right, so you know the, the trailer, the tank trailer full of dry sand. You, you know, I mean, it is a more dangerous job. They give you all the TV equipment. You have to wear the size of raw, the mask, and all that good stuff. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be much more of a challenge because it gets more physical than regular bands. Or we were right, but you know, I, I already was kind of physical because I was going to be for Walmart. Anybody that works for Walmart before knows Walmart is going to make you work. You understand? You want to work for the money. Okay. All right. So, you what was, so what, what was next after, after, after that uh, experience? What, what was next for you after that? Uh, I just jumped on every company that called me first, really. Mm-hmm. And with MVP, I had other companies that called me when I was already there, and I just didn't want to jump ship. You know what I'm saying? I had other companies like Arnold, Cardinal, um, I had some other companies that were sending some customers to me, yeah, then for me to come. And I just want to say, you know, I'm just going to sit here and finish out my experience because, you know, at that point in time, I still just had like a good year and eight or nine months. Right. Right. And a lot of companies were there where they shut up, they won't take you in two years or maybe at a minimum. So you got to stick in. That's what it's going to rule. You got to stick in. Sometimes they fix the way you may not like it for a while just to get your experience. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's all about getting your experience. Yeah. You got to keep working at CDL before the summer on it works for you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of companies be with your own authority. If you don't have a VC in the community, they're going to pay you. If they don't want you to touch anything on that contract and any type of their place, they, they want to know that you know what you're doing. Okay. So, so my best advice is work that CDL and then so you can make it work for you. You all know? All um, right. So- so your so your aspirations right now, uh, especially with the current company that you're with right now, but your aspirations for this whole trucking thing is to actually own your own truck. Am I right? Am I right about yeah. that? Yeah. Well, like I said, uh, I've been digging to get my own board. It's known for the trucker. Uh, my mind and my heart is to own It's not really a big deal thing. Lock out, man. Something like I'm in a car. That's how I call you, son. That's how I call you, son. Yeah. My biggest thing, my biggest thing is, I've been wanting to get my boys for a while, uh, but, you know, there's so much happening in our industry. You know, they chase the rules and the laws on us. You know, we've got the 85 law kicking out. And before you know it, it's going to be sick. You know what I'm saying? It's taking its time. And... I kind of would like to be in more full control. I did a video about this. Um, uh, my, right now, I'm half depending on somebody else for my my media and out here to be successful. And I want to change the whole street. I want I want to be I'm being full control of everything that I do. You know what I'm saying? Because you already take the risk in a way every day when you buy the deal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're not paying for everything, so you really get in your mind that hey. I can really do this. So that's what I've been doing. I've been praying. I've been meditating. I've been reaching out to new people as I possibly can. Um, that I know uh, have their own authority. So they have their own authority for a while. Or see what happens in the and whatnot. And I've been doing so much research. There's so much research on, on different companies. Uh, I already have my top five picks where I would like to go in here with my own authority. But just know that this is a step type thing. It's going to be a step type thing. Take my step in, one step in, one step in. But just know that there'll be a step taken. It's 
Okay. Uh, you know. So in this one video that I'm about to play right quick, uh, this video that you got, uh, Mo Mo Dollars Mo Problems, you uh you mentioned something about uh about leasing, um. So is that's what you're doing right now? You're you're leasing right now, or you are or are you still a company driver? Oh, I'm leasing. Uh, I You you want to you want to tell the company that you're leasing through right now? I am with Taylor West Central Home. Okay, what kind of truck okay. they got? What kind of truck they got you in? 2013 Chevrolet P660. Uh, and I like my P660. I like my P660. Just ain't secure every like they Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at this. <laughs> I'm looking at this video. Look like your belt. Look like your look like your belt broke on this uh, video right quick. Let me let me, yeah. let me put a little yeah. bit. Of, let me put a little bit of volume in this uh, video right quick so we can. Yeah, we can yeah. it's not on no, You know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. I stay ready to fix whatever it is I need to get fixed now. You know. So how much you so how much you paying a month for the uh or is it a month or a week? How much you paying a week for the truck? So is this a walk away lease? I mean, can you walk away from it anytime you want, or are you subjected to to the lease if I you can decide walk to leave? Anytime. I can walk away anytime. I'm not locked in. Nothing goes against my credit. Nothing hurts me, anything like that. I don't owe nobody no money. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's what's up. So it's none of that. So what's uh so what's going on with you in this other video right quick? The video the first video that I played. Look like you got a ticket, man. What what happened? What what happened with you in that video? <laughs> oh well I got a ticket. For going to school. It just was sick. That's the shit I couldn't believe about. I said, I took it for going too damn slow. <laughs> so, so you got a ticket for going slow? Yeah. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh, it's rough. You know, it's really rough. You know it's getting rough now. Yeah, how much? I just want to tell you what it is. How, how much? They're going to tell you when you going to get the article. <laughs> how much? They gonna make you tell authority. How, how much? <laughs> how how much is the ticket? Did he did he tell you how much the ticket was? No, I, I don't even know yet, baby. I've been so upset about it. I ain't even calling people. I ain't even calling for it. Well, I'm telling you, now this is bad here. Oh man! All right, so shape world, man. Look. <laughs> let's hope that uh let's hope that ticket don't uh don't don't bite you in the ass man you know mess yeah, up I'm, your, I'm gonna fight mess it because i mean holiday. it's just like crazy like i had not even heard of that list. Nah, i haven't heard of me can you take it for going well i i mean i heard of i heard of uh i heard of uh four wheelers getting tickets for for slow driving, I haven't I haven't came across of a truck driver yet. You're the first one. <laughs> you're definitely the first. You're definitely the first one on that. <laughs> All right. So so your trucking journey, man, it, it's it's been a good one. I I you know you took uh some vacations. Hey, 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 I mean I got uh, I I have over a hundred bids for it. And I know you see me be some of the sweetest things in the world. And I know how to cook a few folks out and tell people where they ever go, you know? But all in all, you know, it's, it's been a good journey. I've been blessed here. Yeah. All right, all right. So, you know, how, 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 um, how, let me see. Let me, let me go to your, let me go to your YouTube page right quick. And uh, shout out, uh, let me make sure I shout out your, uh, your YouTube page right quick. 
All right, so you guys definitely go check uh, Miss Shape World out. It is Shape World 15 on YouTube. So, hey, you, you have an IG? You you got an Instagram? I have an IG. It's a Shape World TV, real simple. All right, hold on. I'm, about to, I'm, TV. I'm going to it right now. Going to it right now. Shape, so you'll see my little brown little pie. Pop Shape up. World <laughs> TV. There, there you go. Shape. There you go. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we see a video of you right quick. Who's this? Hold on, my uh, internet is running a little slow. Uh, you got a picture right here of old, ugly, and broke. Hold on, it, was that, is that for real? I mean, dude, look like Santa Claus right quick. <laughs> I mean, hey, pull up the sign and you tell the truth. And I say, you know what? Because you told me the truth, I'm going to go and listen. You okay, know? Okay, okay, okay. It ain't nothing. I, I just seen them put signs saying, I can't lie, I need a beer. Or, uh, okay. you know? That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, look at here, Shape. I know you got I know you a little bit busy and I know you're trying to get yourself home tonight and everything, so but I do appreciate you coming on with me right quick, chopping it up, letting us know a little bit about you, you know, letting us know some uh some experiences that you are uh, going through right now. Uh it's been uh it's been a good one. It's been a good one. I really do appreciate you coming on. Anything uh anything else you wanna you wanna shout out? Anybody, you know, before you get up out of here? I want I want to shout you out. Thank you so much for the constant love. Thank you. You know, you are the people that, that I, why I keep posting videos. I mean, it's been a long time. I, my channel is slowly climbing up, and sometimes I feel like it's ever going to get there. It's ever going to get there. It's ever going to get there. But people like you is the reason why I keep turning on, on the camera. It's a good place, you know. So thank you. You very, you very, very welcome, Shape. You very, very welcome. All right, y'all. So that's it. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more com, for more comment, for more content like this. Lockout, man. I want to thank everybody for joining me on this podcast slash YouTube thing. Yo, you can catch the. Raw version on anchor.fm backslash lockout men. And, of course, the edited version here on YouTube. All right. Until next time, guys. You guys have a blessed night. Uh, this may come out after the holidays, but I'm going to say it anyway. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Maybe Merry Christmas, depending on when this come out. Everybody, y'all take it easy. Peace. <laughs>